In the last video, we covered how to set up your microscope. So once your microscope is all set up, then you are ready to watch this video and learn how to start using your microscope for the microscopy lab. Just a reminder, make sure that you keep your microscope away from liquids, foods, children, pets, things that can damage your microscope while you're working. Let's briefly go over the parts of your microscope and what they do so that you'll know when you get to your actual microscope um, and as I go over these parts what parts I'm talking about so as we mentioned in the setup video this is your camera attachment so your camera if you're using that feature goes on top of here this is your ocular lens this is where your eye your eyes look through to view the image. If you have a camera attached, you can also view the image through your camera without having to use the ocular lenses. Um, but if you're not using the camera features and you wanna look directly into the microscope, this is where you look here. There are left and right eye lens focuses um, down here and so you can use the left and right eye focus if your left and right eye are different, um, have have different um, vision in them, you can adjust so that your left and right eye both see a clear image. This part here we call the arm, and while we're on the main parts, this part, this whole bottom area, we call the base. And so when you're picking up and carrying your microscope, you want to hold it securely under the arm and under the base to make sure that you have a good grip on it and you're not grabbing lenses or something like that when you carry your microscope. These are your objective lenses, and I'll go over um, what each of those does in just a little bit, but essentially this is the power of what you're looking through, so it determines how large the object will be that you're looking at. These right here are the stage clips. Those hold your microscope slide in place. This black base here is called the stage, and that's what your microscope slide sits on top of. There is a condenser under here for focusing the light, so you can move the lever down here back and forth to adjust the the focus of that light coming through from this light source here. That's the bottom light source. There is also a top light source that you can adjust here and here. And um, so as you're going, once you put a slide on and actually start looking through the through your lenses here, you'll want to just play with the light sources a little bit and see for that particular slide whether you want more top light, which would be from here, or um, you want to let more bottom light in through using this condenser here. So it's somewhat just playing with those settings and um, seeing what light combination of light makes your image look the best. Uh, we already went over this as your base here. The on and off switch is right here. I didn't label it, but your power cord needs to be plugged in back here in order for the on and off switch to work. And if you were to turn these grips here. That's the course focus. And what you'll see here is the stage move up and down. And when you focus, and we'll go over this a little bit more later, you want to start with the course focus and then um, on a low power setting. And again, I'll go over how that works in a minute. But you start with the course focus and then you use the fine focus, which is turning this smoother knob on the outside. So the rough um, sort of lined knob here is a coarse focus, and this is your fine focus here. And one last thing, if you look at the other side of the microscope, there's this knob here, and that adjusts the height of the light, so it can move your light up and down and adjust the height of your light. So what you your lab says to do first is take a letter E slide, so we've got this um, Oops, this letter E slide here. And this is the stage of your microscope. And so what you'll do to put a slide on is you'll open up the stage clip, this thing here, and you will stick that under there. Be flat, and that stage clip will hold that in place. So now your stage, your um, slide is held there in place. 
Okay, so when you get your slide on there, the next thing that you're going to need to do is move your slide back and forth to make sure that your slide and the image that you want to look at is centered under your viewing area of your lens there. And so as you can tell right now, my, my slide is left from, it's not lined up with that. And so what you'll use is these knobs here. This bigger knob moves your slide back and forth, and the other one moves it left. This one down here moves it left to right. And so you'll try to get your image as best as you can. It's a little bit hard to see there with the light, but you'll want to try to do as best as you can to get that, if you're starting with the letter E, to get that letter E lined up under there. And once you have it lined up, then you're ready to start getting it into focus. Okay, so the next step is to look into your microscope. You'll look into your microscope through these eyepieces here. So you'll put your eyes in front of that. And hopefully if your image on your slide is centered under this lens, it will be somewhere in your field of view. The only thing is your image may not be in focus enough to see it at first. It may be, um, depending on where where, what you focused on last, you may not see anything when you first look at the slide under the eyepieces, you may just see light coming through. And so we'll go over on the next slide how to begin to get that focus so you can actually see something. Let's go over real quick the lenses here, your objective lenses. And so you always want to start with the shorter lens, which is this red one here. And then if you need to look at something in higher power, you will slowly turn to the yellow and or the blue. Um, we are not going to be using oil immersion lens. This is when you'd have to have oil on your slide to be able to use that lens. And so we are not going to be able to be using that one. But you always start with this red one here. And the reason is if you start try to start with this one down here and use the coarse focus, it's really easy to come up and crush your slide and damage the lens here. So we start with the the lowest power. I don't know if it shows up on here, but it has a number four on that. Each one has a number and that's how much it's magnified by. And so we'll start out with that lowest power here. And when I look at my, I'm in focus right now, but most likely when you first turn on your microscope, you'll just see something like this. You'll be out of focus. And so you'll use this coarse, you'll turn the coarse focus and you'll just move that up and down however far it takes, moving it up and down until your letter comes into place. So one important thing that I want to point out here is when you are ready to switch to a higher power lens, so if you're looking at a slide that you need to zoom in closer to an area and you are ready to switch from the red lowest power lens here to a higher power lens, you on the lowest setting, remember I said you use the coarse focus first and then the fine focus. Well, when you switch to any of the other lenses, you always want to start by focusing it on the, on the lowest power, that red ringed one. And when you move up to a higher power, you only use the fine focus. So I just really want to point that out, that only use the fine focus at that point. So you don't, um, if you use the coarse focus on a higher power lens, you can smash your, your lens in the slide. So I just want to make sure that I really remind you of that that when you're switching to a higher power, only use the fine focus. The microscope that you have is called a compound light microscope. Light pretty obviously is because there is light that is within the microscope lighting up your image. The compound, that word means that the lens powers are combined or compounded to give total magnification. And what that means is your microscope has these ocular lenses that you look through. That lens just this lens by itself is magnifying the image you look at by a power of 10. So it's making it look 10 times larger. Then you have the objective lenses down here, which can either be a power of 4, 10, or 40 times magnification. And so then your image first here it gets larger by 10. Here it gets larger by another 4 times, 10 times, or 40 times. And so to find the total magnification of the image you're looking at, you take the power of your eyepiece, your objective lens, which is 10, 
and you multiply that by the power of the objective lens that you're using, which is either 4, 10, or 40. So if you're using the 4 power lens, then your total magnification is 4 times 10, which equals 40. So if you needed to know the total magnification you're using at that time, it would be 40x or 40 times magnified. If you're using the 10 power objective lens, then your total magnification would be 10 times 10, which is 100 times. And if you're using the 40 power objective lens, then your power would be 40 times 10, which is 400. And again, we're not going to use the 100 power lens, which is the oil immersion lens in this class. Okay, so let's look at the three different ways you can adjust the light on your microscope. The first one is with this switch down here, and that's just a dimmer or brighter switch. So here it's on sort of dim as I brighten the light. You can see what happens there. And sometimes it takes a minute for your screen to catch up to your light source there. Um, so that's really bright. The other things that you can adjust are the height of this light here. So this little knob down here will move the light up and down. And what's happening is I do that is just moving that light up and down can adjust that light. So on, on different slides that might make more of a difference. It doesn't make a huge difference with the E here, um, but you can't adjust the height of that light there. And then the last thing is this lever here. And that will, that will essentially open and close the light source. So make it bigger or smaller, sort of the little area that that light's coming through. And so I'll show you as I make that adjustment here. Here I'm narrowing the field where that light's coming through. And then I widen that field where the light's coming through. And so those are all different adjustments that you can play with if you're wanting to make your image more clear. And that's something that with every slide... Okay, so when you need to include a picture in your lab worksheet, you will look through your microscope and draw a picture on a piece of paper of what you see. Then you can take a picture of that picture you drew with your camera or phone and then insert that picture into your worksheet. So that's the end of our instructions on how to use your microscope. You're now ready to go do your lab on microscopy and if you have questions as you get started with the lab or on how to use your microscope at all, don't hesitate to ask. I know it can be a little bit of intimidating the first time you get out a new thing like the microscope. So please, please um, let me know if you have questions as you get started. But I do hope that you have fun with the microscope and looking at the slides that you have.